Hello, I'm out here. I was working on this still. I was going to do up the worm gear blank, just machine it up for now. I'll gash it and make a worm for it here coming up because I'll have to get some more steel to make the hob and everything out of. I did get the thing done up a little bit. I was running into problems because somebody did not cut the sprue very straight and it was not very easy to hold on to it. So I took the belt sander in and or took it into the belt sander and cleaned off the front face to clean it up a little bit and then chucked it up and did the back side just face it off so that it would run true and cut the sprue so that it would run true also so I had halfway accurate so we'll get started okay okay I got this shirt here it's it has all the dimensions of everything which I'm not using the same 12 diametrical pitch worm gear as gingery called for I'm using four threads print which comes out to instead of 12 TP or 12 diametrical pitch it's 12.5664 and how I got that is you just take four threads per inch times 3.1416 pi and that is 12.5664 um, to find the outside diameter that you're supposed to use for a worm gear you add three to the number of teeth and divide it by diametrical pitch so I want 40 so 43 divided by 12.5664 3.4218 so 3.422 so that'll be the outside diameter the official one is 3.5 seven inches so you're taking five seven to four two or four yeah so I'm taking losing about a hundred thousandths off the outside so about fifty thousandths on each side so it should not mess with the design much at all if any And the reason I'm using the four threads per inch, you take the 12 diametrical pitch divided by pi, 3.819, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to be able to cut that on my lathe. Four is pretty close. So. I'm using four threads per inch worm gear. Let's get started. Right, for dimensions, I have, I just took all these out of here. This is for the worm gear for cutting it up here. Just stuff I found. And for the dimensions of the worm gear, I have that chart there, which tells all these dimensions here but it also shows all the stuff here in Gingery's book also but so it's half inch face for the main worm part three quarter inch boss on it and it's one and three quarter inch wide and we already have the dimension 3.421 inches or 342 one thousandths. So we've got this stuff, we got everything we need. Let's get started.
2 inches, 750. Now I gotta take and clean the outside up. This has to be half inch. So, and it is, oops. About 6.05, so. I'll take it off the back side here when I flip it. Right now I gotta get this face here cleaned up and then I gotta take it down to three quarters of an inch because that's about one inch right now. Uh, and I'll just use I use the indicator here to measure three quarters of an inch out and I'll just do it up that way. Okay, I got the indicator set at 750. And I'll unlock the carriage now. There's 750 there. Right there, 750. Looks good. So, I'll take and face it off to that length right here, and we'll be good to go. I got plenty to go. Yeah, had a blowout. A little porosity right there. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, just Yeah. That sucks.
Okay, I got I got clean up in here. I got shavings everywhere. They were flying everywhere. This thing's covered in them. So I gotta clean this up before I stick the boring bar in the bore of the hole out. Right now it's just a half inch hole. One question. Where's the shovel? I think I'm gonna need it. Right on. It's right on the mark. 625. Now we'll cut the back side, or cut the screw off, and clean up the back side and get this thickness to a half inch, and we'll be good to go. Right now it is 590. So. Just gotta get 90 thousandths off the back side. It's Probably too, so. Oh well. I just cut it off with a hacksaw, and I really, really love auto powder power feet. I'll take a facing cut real quick and measure how thick it is, and I'll use the indicator the travel indicator to cut down to size. Scraper. Scraper people. Okay, got it all clean, cleaned up. Things pretty much flawless except for a little pit here and here. But other than that, this thing's perfect. So, the bore is just perfect. Nice tight fit on 625, no play at all. I'll put a drill and put a set screw right here, which will set in on the shaft. Then we'll, I had signed this indexing set up here. It has the B blocks, a three quarter inch shaft here, and there's this block here that has a hole to drill halfway through just for clearance for a bolt head but there's a move this over here
That didn't help. Okay. It's just an indexing setup. It just has a hole through it. There's a spring right here on this paw. And the end is shaped at a 29 degree angle so that it holds it tight in. So you press this down, lock up the table to take a cut. I got it. I know it's off center a bit. It's about five degrees, um, about four and a half. According to the sheets here, the pitch angle or the lead angle for the worm gear is four degree at 46 minutes. So translated out, it's about four and 0.8 degrees, I think. I forget right now, but it's real close to almost five. That's why it's off center. But I'll pull this out. I could turn this. It drops into one of the teeth. Tighten the vise back up. Take the next cut. Loosen the vise up. Tighten it up. I'm going to call it quits for now because I've been at this quite a while and I got to get everything done up. I have it at this angle here because the worm gear is yeah, it's going to be going into the teeth like this. If you're taking a cut and it's done this way when you turn it back, the teeth are going to be angled a little bit this way, so it's going to match the lead angle of the worm gear. Okay, I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Also, the piece of brass that I cut off, you can see that it's bored out to 625 already. So I'm just gonna face it off and cut the machine washers out of it. The bushings for the, on the side of the shaft. It's already sized, might as well use it. <laughs>